morning world okay today we've got an, a new unboxing episode for y'all today because I decided to buy another monitor yes I did considering the fact that I have two monitors on my work desk here I've got <laughs> y'all know I've got a two monitor set up here and one monitor set up here so you might be asking why on earth do you need another monitor the answer is yes but because this time round it is a portable monitor yes <laughs> let's get to the unboxing okay I, I still haven't found the best way to um, pretty much do an um, or rather get an unboxing view because I need to buy a clamp an overhead clamp for the camera yes I know it's just an excuse for me to buy more shit but anyways what we have here is the AOC ultra portable monitor that's what it's called what's the model number it's called the 16 t2 i'm gonna cover my serial number here but you can see this specs over here so max resolution 1920 by 1080 uh, available image size 39.5 cm that's 15.6 inches and um yeah net gross weight 0.99 kg i, I don't know what but anyways <laughs> There we go, it's the 16T, oh my god, 16T2. So let's crack into it and see what's what. Now, why did I get a portable monitor? In fact, I was actually shopping around for some. I asked a couple of friends who also had these monitors already. Um, and they all said it was awesome to have, especially if you are traveling and working. And I do foresee that I would travel and work um, at some point as well. If you can see inside, they do have some um, instructions, right? Type C into the monitor. Um, they teach you how to take out the stuff. You gotta got got take out the mounts first. All right, so let's see. All right, so first up we have, voila. This is a USB to type C, okay. And then over here we have a, oh, there's a, there's a VESA adapter. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna open this, but this this is awesome. This means that you can actually mount the monitor uh, uh, on a VESA mount as well. That's pretty awesome. And uh, over here, this seems to be... What is this? I have no idea. Let's open that up and see. Uh, all right, this is a... It's probably a stand for the monitor. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> Put that aside as well. And... What else do we have? Oh, more documentation. This is, um, what is this? Ah, it teaches you how to remove the monitor from the box. Um, what's this? Check if the fastener hole of the carton flip is flipped out without obstruction. Lay the carton flat support it with hands. Pull the binding strap. My God, why does it sound so difficult just to... Hey, but that's not exactly the monitor that we have. Why does it have a stand? Okay, and then of course you've got different languages and on the back as well um, there's there's a warranty brochure and stuff like that but we're not gonna read that no we are not let's open this up all right how does this work it says I gotta lay it flat down on the ground but clearly I'm not gonna do that oh they also included a HDMI to mini HDMI wow I like that that's good and the cool thing about that is that you can also, wait, hang on, let me just take this uh, off screen first. All right, there we go. <laughs> it also comes with a power brick adapter thingy. This is probably just to power it up. Put that off to the side, raise this one up. And so this one here has, uh, um, oh, look at that. It has a battery in it as well, if I'm not wrong, does it? I might be wrong. <laughs> Look at that, this is nice, AOC. Um, it says here, do not use any materials or tools that may scratch the screen surface. No shit, you don't say. Look at that, wow. And, and this is probably like a, you know, for you to display. Yes, USB-C built-in battery. Uh, it is portable and has IPS wide view, don't know what the hell is that, and 10 points touch. Why, what does that mean? I don't know. Okay, um, there's that and of course, let me see, let me see. How does that work? How does this work? This does not seem, this seems weird because 
this pouch looks too small for this. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how that works. But look, there are, there's like two notches on the bottom here, and there's two notches on the bottom there. So I would presume this goes here somehow. Does it? It does. Hey, look. <laughs> and oh dear, that was close. <laughs> not have turned out well. Okay, okay. No, how does that work? I'm trying to figure out how the magnets work on the back. Oh, like that. Look at that. But the question now remains, how do I transport that safely? <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. There are a few buttons on the side as well. If you can see some um, there is some volume volume buttons over here. There is a on off button over here and just probably some speakers. Oh, over here as well. You can also, because there's two notches here, you can also have the monitor this way. And um, there you go. Those are your ports. One for USB-C, one for HDMI. And that's that. Let's, let's try and hit the on button and see how it goes. I'm just gonna press and hold it. I'm not sure if it's charged. All right, it is not charged. <laughs> but that's that's exactly that's 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 what it pretty much is. Now again, the issue is that it didn't include like a carrying case, so I don't know how to carry or, or bring it around. Um, see, look at that. Look at the size difference be between this stand and the thing. So bad. That's kind of like a bad thing already. Uh, we don't have a carrying case for it. Um, but let me see what I can do in setting it up and. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, so status update so far. Um, let's test it out. I've got it now plugged to um, the power already via USB-C. And um, let's turn this one on. Let's see. The fi so finally on the side, there's a light. You can see a small light there. I'm going to press that to turn it on. I don't know if it's going to turn on. But anyways, AOC is a Taiwanese company. They make monitors. Right, which is why that's what happens when you don't mute your before recording. Anyways, so AOC is a Taiwanese company and they have they, they, they do like monitors and stuff like that, which is why in this the box I actually got a ran a lot of random monitor paraphernalia and, and things like that. And funny thing I got a CD. Who uses a CD nowadays? Seriously. Anyways, um, I have to use my basis adapter to adapt. Nah, it's just because the the Apple being assholey and not giving us like you know ports. Um, and so I've got this, which is the HDMI to mini HDMI. And what I'll do is to plug that in to the side. It's a moment of truth, moment of truth. I really hope it works, man. I'm gonna be quite sad if it doesn't. And I'll plug it in to my basis adapter. Okay. So, plugging that in, nothing's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna press and hold the side. There we go, AOC, check it out. What? <laughs> And yes, it's working. Let me let me minimize all my stuff and just give you an uh, an overview. Hang on, let's try this. Check it out. It looks pretty good, actually. Eh? Do you not think so? Yeah. The only issue, right? Uh, again, actually, no. There's, there's there are plenty of issues, but. The issue is, um, look at that, is this going to be seamless? No, what the heck? Okay, this, this is definitely not right. I need to recalibrate it. Alright, let me recalibrate. Alright, and it's done. Check it out. Now, now, when I move, you can see the cursor here. I move it to the other screen. Check it out. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I quite like it. I think it's nice. The only issue, again, I would say, it's... Um, well, you know, there's no case for this, which means I have to put it in a laptop sleeve when I bring it out, right? I can't put this back to back with the laptop 
or yeah, with, with my MacBook say in my bag, for example. I perhaps could, but this screen is gonna get banged up super easy. Now they do say and profess that this is a touch screen, so let's see if it works. It doesn't! I don't even know what the 10 point touch thing means. What did they mean? Yeah, this probably needs a little bit more testing and stuff like that. Yeah, if not, it turns out to be a crappy unboxing video. But in any case, having very weird stuff in this thing that we were not even supposed to open in the first place, here's what's interesting. Let me show you. Over here, you get a warranty brochure that tells you nothing but warranty nonsense in different languages. And then you've got an important information manual and you think that, hey, this information manual might give you information about the monitor, right? Wrong! It's all, it, it doesn't even, look at that, it's just, what? What? And it's all different languages, so the important information would probably be the first page, which just says, warning, you might get electrical shots, okay, you know, electrical shocks, I mean. <laughs> Remove any object that could fall into the ventilation hole. What? Do not expose the monitor to dust, rain, water, and replacement of battery with an incorrect type can defeat a safeguard. What? Seriously? Yeah, I don't know. AOC, you gotta get your shit together, man, because this is weird. But, and also, for the amount this thing costs, I think they should include at least a carrying case. I don't know, I'm looking at the box now. I, I yeah, there isn't a carrying case. But, in any case, uh, and and there's a and there's a C, there's a CD yeah, there's a CD as well. What am I supposed to do with that? Seriously. Okay. Anyways, never mind. Never mind. Um, um, this is probably gonna be used for for overseas use and trip. I just got to figure out how best to use or rather bring this around, right? Because it's a little bit of a challenge without a case. Right. What do I mean again uh, by that is that, uh, again, let me just unplug this. There we go. And let me... Oh my gosh. I'll get back. Okay, again, so I was, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, um, let me unplug the charger. Look at that. This thing is held up by this, this uh, um, stand, right? Magnetic stand that you saw earlier. Now, issue is, I can... Alright, so like I was saying, issue is, if I detach this stand, this this thing here, but I can't do that. Can I? Oh, I can! <laughs> okay, I apologize, AOC. Um, this is quite smart, because... <laughs> so... I take it all back. I swear I cannot make it as a as a gadget reviewer. You know? I tried once. You know, if you if you dig back hard enough into the archives of this channel, you'll find GGR. Anyways, so now I realized that this, so this this uh, uh, monitor, what you do is to to have this this thing. And then you can actually look at that magnetize. Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I think. Yep. Yeah, because there's a it's actually two knurlings here, and then there's two two things here that you can actually. Do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you look at that. So it actually fits on pretty snugly. And now, yes, I agree. I can put this in my bag. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I still got to test it out a little bit more. Uh, um, and the other thing is what I what I like that they gave in the in the box was um, other than the HDMI, the mini HDMI, um, and of course it's the power brick. But look at this. They are USB cable. Oh my God, the lighting is horrid now. The USB cable. I should get a light for my. Okay. Uh, anyway, the USB cable is actually two USB C to USB Cs. Okay, I don't know if you can see the tracking is tracking wrongly. There we go. USB Cs, and then there is a adapter thing that you can actually cover and put that in. You have a USB A 
right? Is it A? Anyways, yeah, not bad. This is this is pretty cool. So yeah, that oh my god, it was such a tumultuous and 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 scary unboxing because I'm like, how can this be not okay? But anyways, that was the unboxing of the A O uh, the A O C. What's this thing? Sixteen T two. Now, I have to preface getting. Why did I get this? Is um, because we actually exchanged some flight miles for this. Uh, some flight miles that was expiring super quickly, and uh, the the thing was, you know, our family is really traveling and, and stuff like that. So I I thought I needed one of these as well, and yeah. So that was the reason for getting this. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be in my. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely travel with it. Honestly speaking, it feels a wee heavy. Um, but yeah, and there we have it, the very crazy unboxing of the AOC 162, um, yeah, um, I'll want to try it out even more uh, and even have more crazy ideas to maybe, just maybe, put a third screen like somewhere here or something, I don't know, where I can read chat or something like that during the, during the stream. Yeah, I don't know, that'd be cool, right? <laughs> and when it's not there, uh, and I'm going overseas, I can actually bring it overseas as well. But yes, I am, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. AOC, you really need to be more clearer with the instructions. Like, I wouldn't have known this would have been able to cover the whole thing. I was, uh, if you notice earlier in the, in, the, in the clip, I was a dumbass, and I tried to, to cover it this way, when I clearly know it's not possible already. Yeah, then again, I am a colossal dumb. Oh, and there you have it. That's the unboxing of the AOC 16T2. If you're looking to get it, you, I'm going to link some links in the description as well. Um, there are many different brands that are doing this as well nowadays too. So, uh, a lot of brands doing portable monitors and stuff. But I want to put, put it through its paces. I'll actually be traveling as well and working uh, pretty soon. So, I'm going to just try this. Try what is it like going overseas with one of these. And um, the only other issue and worry I have is that, you know, I'm most probably going to bring this in on a check-in baggage. So, the thing is, this is going to add a ton more weight comparative to say for example uh, uh, um, a smaller sized one uh. so I went for the 15 plus inch one so th technically that's, that's also on me but in any case uh, I want to see how that turns out and, and yeah figure this out but yeah thank you everyone as always for watching uh, this unboxing video it has been a crazy one because it's been one of me trying to figure shit out but you're figuring it out with me and watching how I screw that up. But in any case, hit the like button. Do remember to subscribe for more very very weird and trashy content like this. And leave a comment down below. Say hi. Do you have one of this as well? Were you smarter than I was? I think everyone is smarter than I was. But yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you as always in the next one. Bye-bye.